Hi everyone, this is Mohammad Shafi Sardar, Faculty of Computer Science, SG College, Kopar. In today's session, I am going to show you practical session of working with groups in Tally. Let us see how to create groups in Tally. First, Tally is going, is going to provide a two option to create groups. The first option is single group. The second option is multiple group. If you want to create the groups one by one, then you have to go with the single group option. If you want to create more than one groups at one time, then you have to go with multiple option. I'm specifying the options to create single group. So you need to go to the tally and from the tally gateway of tally menu accounts info single group and then you have to click on create option type the group name choose the parent group under field from under field set yes for net or debit balance for reporting and at the end click on yes to save the group so this is going to create a single group now i'm going to tell you how to create groups in tally first what you need to do is start your tally okay already I have started the tally and oh, select the company in which company you want to create group okay so for example last session I created the company called SG college select the company okay so by default uh it will be of a company info menu you can press escape to get a gateway of tally menu okay now you you are uh, getting gateway of tally menu so to create groups you need to take accounts info information click on accounts info then click on groups and here tally provides two options to create groups the first one is single group and second one is multiple group so if you want to create groups one by one then you can take single group if you want to create multiple groups under a same head uh, under a same group then you can take multiple groups now i'm going to show you how to create a single group okay so click on create type the group name i will classify the expenses as administrative expenses okay so i want to classify every group has to classify under the predefined groups so administrative expenses comes under indirect expenses okay i will take the indirect expenses as under group then group behave like a sub ledger or not make it yes or no so if you want to specify the net debit or credit balance then uh, press yes so if you want to use the calculations for um, tax or discounts so th this will applicable only for sales and sales return okay so then uh, um, leave it and how you are going to uh, calculate the allocations of purchase universe it is also not applicable okay after that at the end press yes to accept the group now the group is created in tally if you want to display a single group again you need to go to the gateway of tally menu accounts info single group then display uh, then you need to select the group name press enter key and to come out from the display option press s now i'm going to tell you how to display tally groups first you have to go to the gateway of tally menu and uh, click on accounts info menu click on groups option and then from the single group take the option display and it is going to list out all the groups created 
and from the list select the group which is created recently and press enter so then you are getting the group information in tally on the screen and the next option is if you want to alter a single group you need to click on gateway of tally menu click on accounts info single group alter and then select the group name and press enter key make the necessary changes to the group name and at the end press ctrl a to save the changes for the group now i am going to tell you how to alter the tally groups first you have to go to the gateway of tally menu click on accounts info then click on groups option and from the single group take the option called alter and the select the group which you want to alter or modify so press enter key now your group is ready for alteration make the changes to the group okay so administrative expenses at the end i will add account okay so after making changes press control a to accept the changes and save it to the groups this is what how you are going to modify the groups in tally and if you want to remove a single group again you will need to go to the gateway of tally menu accounts info from the groups take the option alter then select the group name and press enter key so then press alt plus d to remove the group it will ask for the confirmation press yes to remove the single group now i am going to tell you how to remove groups from tally so first go to the gateway of tally menu click on accounts info click on groups option and from the single group again click on alter and it is going to list out all the groups we, which you have created previous in previous sessions okay so now select the group which you want to remove okay i want to remove administrative expenses just select it by pressing enter key now it has been selected and then press alt d to remove the group so it will ask for the confirmation press yes so now see from the group it has been removed in tally now i am going to tell you how to create groups using multiple group options first you have to go to the gateway of tally menu click on accounts info click on groups option and then from the multiple groups click on create okay so in create screen first it will ask you under which group you want to create groups or subgroups okay suppose thing that i want to create the groups under fixed asset so then select the option fixed asset at the beginning then type what are the fixed assets you want to create as a group so furniture account and building account so two groups i want to create at the same time press enter key again and at the end it will ask for the confirmation click on yes now the multiple groups has been created in tally now i am going to tell you how to display multiple groups first you need to go to the gateway of tally menu click on accounts info click on groups option and from multiple groups select or click on display from the display it is going to list out all the groups available in tally select fixed asset so it is going to display all the groups which are created under fixed asset group see here 
So recently I have created two groups under fixed assets like building account and furniture account. This is what how you are going to display multiple groups uh, in tally. Now I am going to tell you how to alter multiple groups in tally. First you need to go to the gateway of tally menu, click on accounts info, click on groups option and from multiple groups select the option alter. It is going to list out all the groups available in tally, select the group under which suppose I want to alter the multiple groups in fixed assets, press enter then it is going to list out all the groups available in fixed asset. So make the changes what, whatever you want to make changes in the groups. So building account I will type full. So in the similar way so in furniture also I want to type full account. Okay after that press control A to accept the changes and modifications for the group so this is what today's session working with groups if you have any query please text me i will reply for your query thank you for joining the session